Okay, making a video. And first I've got to brag about making sales in Poshmark. Um, I had stayed up at 10 o'clock to, well, I could have stayed up till midnight, but there's a certain thing that Poshmark does. It's Poshmark parties. And I had done that over the last couple of nights. And it kind of helps you get your your listings out there. And it helped. And I made a couple of sales. So I didn't get myself to the post office, but I will do that tomorrow. So that's one thing that I have to say. And the other thing that I have to say is that I still have not closed out my transaction that I started on Monday. On Monday, I made a purchase and I made the purchase of stocks at around $6.94. And I have not closed out that transaction yet. So I will be looking towards closing out that transaction next week. I came close to closing out the transaction today, but um, I don't know. It kind of got away from me. So I, I initially had set my strike point at $7.62, but I, I changed my mind today and I reset the, the sell number to $7.29. And then I changed my mind again and I set it to around something like $7.19, but I changed it kind of I think after it reached seven dollars and nineteen cents, something like that. I I kind of missed the point where it had reached its high point, so I ended up not selling out. And um, I would have I would have hit. I mean, it would have been a nice profit if um, I had if I had sold out at that point. Um, it wouldn't have been a super duper super deluxe um double mac and cheese um <laughs> profit but it would have been a good one and um given that it was a friday i i would have taken that um but anyway since i didn't sell out then it goes it continues on until monday and Next week, I'll I'll be looking at probably uh, putting a sell order in again, increasing it a little bit. I I won't do the seven dollars and nineteen cents. I won't do the seven dollars and twenty nine cents. I'll probably do probably going back towards seven dollars and sixty two cents again, trying for a little bit higher because I think that. With the uh, Kevin McCarthy Speaker of the House vote, and just the where it where it closed at today, I think that it will probably go up higher. So I'll probably be trying to get those gains and um, get a little bit better of a profit. So um, that's the way I'll play that one. I was watching the Stock Channel, and they were saying that they were con confirming what I already know that the markets had has have been flat the entire year of 2022. And this is what I was talking about that I've been using that, uh, this relatively flat economy, this relatively flat stock market to have my strategy of the fact that LabVIEW is one of those stocks in this relatively flat economy over 2022 to use that and with LabU trading between six and eight dollars over and over and over and over and over again to have that strategy to play it to um buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and they were saying that it might be changing well maybe maybe not and until and unless it does change, I'm going to continue this strategy. And this is the strategy that I'm talking about. Maybe, maybe you might want to try. But um, I do suggest that before you try anything that I'm suggesting, because I'm a regular person, I have no special 
I, I don't have any training whatsoever. None. Zero. Zippo. So uh, there are all sorts of uh, videos out there and there's there's courses that you can pay for and there's just every kind of uh, video out there imaginable. So, uh, you know, I, I would suggest um, doing your homework, uh, not just my videos, um, and uh, before you try anything, uh, go all through the internet and, you know, watch everything that you want to watch before, especially if you're completely brand new. And, um, but I can only suggest what's worked for me. And um, uh, I've already been doing a series of videos about what, in fact, has worked for me. And it's worked in a, in a big way. It has gotten me out of a disaster, a financial dis disaster. And it has really, really boosted my finances. And what is kind of strange is that I'm using the same stock ticker that actually got me in the financial jam. That is a um, dehumidifier. And it's strange that it's a dehumidifier because it's in the middle of winter when it's dry. But this particular room kind of needs it. Um, I can stop it. I think stop it by that usually would stop it. Okay. I kind of just pried open its water container. Okay. It's done beeping now. Um, so the same stock ticker lab you was actually what I was using what what I was trading with that got me in the financial jam because it was trading at a much higher number and it was going down and I was going down right with it but it finally did bottom out and then just started trading at a predictable trading range. So the same stock ticker that I lost a bunch of money on is the same, same, same exact stock ticker that I'm able to make money on now. And um, I came up with that trading strategy one day and just one day it kind of came to me as to how to actually work work the magic. And that's what I've been doing. So um, I've been talking about how to do that. But this is just one of the many thousands or probably millions of ways that money can be made in the stock market. So um, this is the Friday after the New Year's break in 2023. And um, this particular week, I happen to be up $10,000, but I did not choose to sell. Um, I will hopefully, you never know, but I will hopefully take that particular gain into next week and maybe increase the gain and then sell sometime next week at maybe a larger gain. So, um, but during this week, I was seeing a loss, a pretty significant loss, but I just, you know, wrote it out. And uh, it's nothing new. It's happened before that after I've made a purchase, 
I've had to see some backsliding be before it's come up again. And that's just part of what happens. And that it happened this time. It happened in a pretty big way this time. And I just, you know, you have to have patience. You have to have a thick skin. Um, now, I say that because that's part of the method that is common that hap that happens with me with this particular method that is working at this particular time. There are other times in life when selling at a loss is the thing that should be done because there are more losses to come and it the right strategy that should happen would be to get out before you take additional losses but i have seen the way this plays itself out the way that it has been playing itself out and i have been able to predict you know with relative certainty that it's going to ebb and flow. And so I have played the predictability model and have said, okay, it's going to come back. And so far, that's the way it has happened. One day, it may bite me in the butt, but so far it has worked. This particular trading model has worked. Uh, I guess one particular expression in the stock market is that it works until it doesn't. So, um, but that is my wrap up of the first trading week of the new year, of the new year of 2023. So I made a purchase on the, the very first day of the trading week, and I am still involved in that transaction. I have not cashed out yet. I wish I could have, but I have not yet cashed out of that transaction. I'm up $10,000, but I can't yet say what that transaction will bring me in total. So next week, I'll be able to report in um, because that's what this video series is all about. I'll be able to actually, I'll be able to actually do that. I'll be able to report in as to actually what, um, what I actually made in that transaction. So that is all with this video. Okay. Bye-bye.